Hi, I'm Joe Wachowski. In this video, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to fill the nail holes on your trim so it doesn't come out looking like this. And that's coming up next. After you've installed your trim, you've got nail holes, and you need to fill those before you paint. Um, a lot of people like to use caulk. You don't want to use caulk to fill the nail holes. What happens with the caulk is it will shrink, and um, after you're done painting, you will see the nail holes. You'll see the spots where the nail holes because the caulk is shrunk. Uh, and later on down the line, after a month or so, it's going to shrink even more, and they're going to become even more visible. Um, there are some other things you can use. You can use drywall putty. You can use um, uh, wood putty. The problem with that is you have to wait for it to dry, and then you have to sand it after it's dry. That's a lot of extra work. I like to use window glazing. The reason why I like to use window glazing is once I've filled the nail hole, it's ready to paint. You don't have to wait for it to dry. You don't have to sand it, and it is paintable. So... Right after you're done with that step, you can get on to priming or painting, and you don't have to worry about it again. So let me show you what I do. And all you do is just take a, um, a clump out of the, the bucket, knead it a little bit. This is a little bit older can, so uh, I have to knead a little bit more because it's a little bit more solid. And then just take it and start pushing it in with your thumb. I made a lot of holes on this so you can see it a little better. Push it in and all you have to do is just wipe it off with your finger. And that's all you have to do. And then you're ready to paint right afterwards. Now, you don't have to sand it, but I do like to take this sanding sponge and just go over the top of it real quick. For that be reason, because your, your fingers are soft and it can push some of the um, putty out of the holes. You don't have to. I like to. Um, if you don't rub on it too hard, you shouldn't have a problem. And then it's ready to paint. I don't know if you can see this up close okay and what I'm going to do is I'll paint it now I'm going to put a coat of paint on so you can see what that looks like so I'll put a little bit of paint on so you can see you saw the nail holes I filled And you can see they are just about invisible. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see in a camera. Kind of get the... Try and put it on an angle. They're pretty much invisible. After a couple of coats of paint... You can see the ones I've got right next to it. That's how you fill nail holes for painted trim. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to ideas, visit my website at www.doityourselfwithjoe.com. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button to keep up to date with future videos. Also, Visit and like me on Facebook.